Security agencies in the US have identified the person who shot at former president Donald Trump. He was 20 year old youth named Thomas Matthew Crooks, but they are yet to share details on the motive behind the crime. The FBI has identified 20 year old Thomas Matthew Crooks as the subject involved in the attempted assassination of former US president Donald Trump. the agency said in a statement the fbi also said they are not yet sure of the motive behind the assassination attempt that has also left one person dead and two others critically injured multiple rounds targeting the former president were fired at the butler rally on saturday trump said one of the bullets pierced the upper part of his right ear thomas matthew crooks was from bethel park in pennsylvania the suspect was shot and killed by the secret service seconds after he allegedly fired shots towards a stage where Trump was speaking in Butler, Pennsylvania. Trump was shot in the ear. State voter records show that Crooks was a registered Republican. The upcoming November 5th election would have been the first time Crooks had been old enough to vote in a presidential race. Crooks resided about an hour away from where the shooting took place in Butler. When Crooks was 17, he made a $15 donation to Act Blue, a political action committee that raises money for left-leaning and democratic politicians, according to a 2021 Federal Election Commission filing. The donation was earmarked for the Progressive Turnout Project, a national group that rallies Democrats to vote, reported Reuters. Crooks' father, Matthew Crooks, 53-year-old, told CNN, that he was trying to figure out what happened and would wait until he spoke to law enforcement before speaking about his son. Thomas Crooks graduated in 2022 from Bethel Park High School, according to the Pittsburgh Tribune Review. He received a $500 star award from the National Math and Science Initiative, according to the newspaper. A 2022 graduation ceremony video cited by the New York Times shows Crooks receiving his high school diploma to some applause. Video from that ceremony posted online shows Crooks with glasses and a black graduation gown and posing with a school official. Law enforcement officials said on Saturday that Crooks carried no identification documents or cards to the site of the shooting and had to be identified using other methods. We are looking at photographs right now and we are trying to run his DNA and get biometric confirmation, Kevin Rojek, FBI special agent in charge, said during a press briefing. News Desk, Kaumuthi Global.